Hi everyone, this is Nick, and I wanted to show you this kind of fun slide introduction transition that I've seen on a few TV shows as kind of their opener, and I wanted to see if I could do that in PowerPoint. Um, so you can do that pretty easily in PowerPoint with a simple morph transition and just a text box and a few shapes. So this is what it looks like, and I wanna show you, I'm from Holland, Michigan, and so pretend I was doing a presentation about Holland, Michigan, or I wanted to sort of set the stage that we were in Holland, and we have this kind of nice graphic here with the word Holland, and then a photo that I can kind of tell is gonna be a windmill or something that uh, is from Holland there. So when I transition the slide, I just click over or click the mouse, then it sort of zooms out. Let me see if I go over here and it zooms out into the full photo. Nobody would ever know that this is just two PowerPoint slides. I'm gonna escape out of this, and we're gonna go ahead and make this from scratch. So the first thing I did, I downloaded this photo um, of Holland from Google Images. So you can kind of see how this goes. Oops, I'm gonna go here. I'm giving you some of the behind the scenes photos here. There's the photo of Holland right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and we are going to go ahead and put it into a new PowerPoint slide. So let's go ahead and just paste that on to the slide. It's a full image that, let's see, I'm going to zoom out because I want to make sure that it fills the entire height and width of the slide. Okay, so that's perfect. A nice full photo that's the width and height of the entire slide. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to insert a text box and let's just draw that right here. I'm gonna use all caps, and let's go ahead and make this a centered, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it all the way to the edges so that when we increase the size, it'll work. And I'm gonna actually choose a different, kind of a bolder font. I like this uh, Aroni here. And let's go ahead and increase the size. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that text white so that you can see it. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and align this to the middle of the slide. Perfect. Now, if you just wanted a nice looking slide, I think this looks beautiful. So go ahead and use a slide just like this. It's a nice trick to just put a giant text box over a full bleed photo, a full photo that fills the entire slide. Pretty cool. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is insert a rectangle shape. And we're gonna go ahead and insert that. And I want it to be the entire height and width of that slide as well. So I'm gonna make sure that we snap that rectangle to the slide dimensions. Let's go ahead and just turn this black. I'm gonna change the color. Doesn't need to have an outline. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this one layer back. So we're just gonna say send to back and I'm gonna say send backwards. That puts it one layer behind so the text should now show up on top of that box. Uh, but the photo is still behind the rectangle there. Okay, so now what we need to do is I'm gonna select the box, the rectangle, and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select the text box. You have to do it in that order. Go up to the shape format tab. We are going to click on the merge shapes drop down menu and then I'm gonna click subtract. And that creates this sort of cookie cutter effect that kind of takes the text out of that box. So now if I move the rectangle, you can see we have this shape of Holland, the, that text that we put in there in that box, which is a pretty cool um, effect right there. All right, so we're almost done. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go up to the transitions tab with my slide selected. I'm gonna click on morph. Go ahead and click on morph. And I'm gonna duplicate this slide by pushing control D. Now I have two copies of the exact same slide. Now what I'm gonna do is go down here to the zoom bar and I'm gonna actually zoom all the way out. So it's so, the slide is so tiny. And now what we wanna do is we wanna increase the size of the black rectangle with the cookie cutter uh, Holland. And I'm gonna increase it so big that the entire slide fits within, um, a, with, within one of the letters. Now actually I just remembered that I forgot a step for this particular one. So what we would do is we would drag that really big and then go ahead and drag it over the photo. Now you can see Holland doesn't exactly have any good letters <laughs> that are kind of really big and thick. Those L's um, are kind of long and thin, so we can't get the full photo there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to do that same merge shape subtract feature, that subtract trick, and I'm gonna cut out this circle here so that the O in Holland is just one big circle. So let's go ahead and insert a circle 
And what I'm gonna do is make sure that the circle covers that entire black sort of donut hole of the O. And then remember, I'm gonna click the, sh uh, the rectangle first, hold down shift, and then click the circle. Go back to that merge shapes menu and click subtract. And now the O is completely gone. Perfect. So now I have something to work with here. So the picture is almost gonna fit in that circle. Let's make it even bigger. Let's make the box even bigger so that that O gets a little wider. It doesn't really matter if you stretch this because we're not gonna see the words. Okay, perfect. So now you can see that entire slide fits inside that O. Now I'm gonna go back to my title slide here and you can see the zoom, um, the zoom feature, if you're zooming out or zooming in, it just keeps that uh, orientation. If I wanted to zoom in, I could do that. Here's my slide. Now I'm gonna push slide, uh, slideshow mode and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click next and it's gonna see, we're gonna see how this looks. So go ahead and click the uh, right arrow and it goes right over. Pretty, pretty cool. Now the thing that I didn't know, it's, it still looks like it has that faint O. And I think the reason that is, this is a good um, helpful tip here, is because I only cut out that O on the second slide. I didn't cut out the O on the first slide. So that O is going to show up on the first slide and it's gonna stay there. And then once it transitions into that next slide, it's gonna kind of fade, fade away. Now, if I wanted to get rid of that O, all we need to do now is, let's see if we do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this O here using the same trick. So we're gonna go ahead and do the circle the rectangle first, hold down shift, hold down that circle, go to merge shapes and subtract. And now we have that O removed. So I would have removed that O first before I duplicated the slide on that one, on that uh, initial step there. But let's see how this looks in slideshow mode. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And we've got to make sure that we go. Perfect. Okay, so it worked It worked out great. I think this really is nice. If you don't like, you can hit, hit the back arrow and it will just go back. Um, if you want it to go a little bit slower, let's go ahead and escape. Go back up to the transition tab where the morph transition is applied. And what we're going to do under here, under timing, duration, right now it's set to two seconds. So it's going to so kind of take two seconds to do that entire morph transition. Let's go ahead and click maybe three and a half seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and push slideshow mode again. Let's go ahead and click the right arrow. And it's a little bit slower. Maybe not quite as slow as I want it. Let's see if we can make it really slow. I'm gonna go ahead and just click it all the way up to seven seconds. Let's see if that works, what that looks like. Hmm, looks like it's the same. So what I think needs to be happen is I'm applying this slide transition to the first slide. I think I need to apply that transition to the second slide. So over here, the transitions tab on the second slide, it's still set to two seconds. Let's go up to seven seconds and see how it works. Perfect, all right, now I'm gonna go to slideshow mode and we will click and right arrow, there we go, a nice slow transition. So this was kind of a fun video because I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but I also showed you how I troubleshoot some of those things. So you can always just click the undo button, you can always go back, and you can always repeat steps that you need to. That's the way the world works most of the time, we know, right? It's not all perfect, um, and I don't wanna re-edit this video or do another one to show you the very clean process that we used here. You can kind of get the behind the scenes design guts. I hope that you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Every time I post a new video in data design, Excel, PowerPoint, or Word, I will uh, you will get notified of that video. And I hope that you like them uh, and share the videos with others. I had a great time making this video for you today and I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll see you next time.